Let's see how we can use CTEC for an example. First, let's create the tag file. Type CTEGS and dash R, then it scans all the directories recursively and build the dictionary files called tags. So, we'll type in. And then, let's see if the tag file has created. Okay, so at the very end, we create a text file. Okay, it was created in utils directory. In Pintos, all the topmost directory for the source source file is source. So we have to go to one level up. And then from now on, we're going to restart building the C tag files. Type C tags and type dash R. And then tag file is created. Now it's time to use Vim with tag file. Let's move to the directory called utils. And let's pick up one of the files there and start to edit the file. Okay, there is squash unix.c right here. So let's edit. Let's open that file with vim. And then first thing you have to do is you have to set the tag file. Move to command mode and then type set tags equals. Uh, remember that the text file we have just created is in the source directory. It's in src directory. It is the parent directory of the current directory, which is util. So we have to go to one level up and set tags. So tag file is set. Now let's list up the all the definitions of main function. Tag T stands for tag and J stands for list all the function definitions and we're going to type main. Okay, so um, there are uh, these many functions and uh, the first definition of the main is in squish unix.c and then there are many many files and these are name of the functions and these are um, these are the name of the file which contains the associated definitions. So um, let's move into one of those files. Let's say we are moving into hex-dump.c, which stands for the number 8. So we are moving into the file number 8. Okay, type, I'm going to type 8 and then enter. So this is hex-dump.c, which contains the definition of main. It contains um, open and byte read and read and stuff like that. So um, let's go to the next definition of main. Then move to the command mode, then go to t tag next. And then go to the next definition of the tag, tag next. Of course, there is another command, tag previous, which displays the previous definition of the last tag. And then let's step into the definition of other functions. For example, we like to go to the usage, then leave the cursor at the in over the usage and then type control right square bracket. And then it looks that we don't have okay there is a usage function here. Okay. So and then uh, let's list up all the definition of the usage if there is more than one definition. Oh, okay. There are three definitions of usage. And then let's move to number two definitions of usage. All right. So you can see this. Okay. So this is the usage of the C tag function. In summary, this uh, slice set lists up the command that can be used in C tag. The first command is C tag dash R. It generates a tag file and it searches all the direct all the subdirectories starting from the current directory and creates the tag files that contains all the tags. And you when you open up the Vim, you can specify the tag file using dash T option. And then uh, these are the list of the uh, frequently used command and associated action. Uh, type control square bracket, you can jump to the tag underneath the cursor. And then you type ts and tag 
and you can search for a particular tag and command TN and TP uh, moves to the next definition and the previous definition of the last tag. And then um, if you type just TS and then without uh, specifying a tag, then it lists up all the definitions of the last tag. And then finally, if you type Control T, uh, you can jump back to the last tag in the stack. Enjoy.